Hey everybody, this is Julian. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my home here in Santa Monica, California. And welcome to a very fun episode on the channel. I love doing DIYs when it comes to thrifting and uh, placing different things into my collection to help style plants. And recently, which I am in the tail end of filming, my process of preserving my blooms in silica gel as well as my first time preserving my blooms in resin. I am very excited, happy, and nervous to share my first time experience. I've never done anything like this before and I don't know anyone in my circle of friends that have ever did anything like this with resin or silica gel. So I am sharing my first time experiences with both silica gel and resin and I want to show you all of my supplies first and then I'm going to jump into my first project. I am doing a whole separate video on the vlog channel uh, preserving my bouquet from Mother's Day uh, separate blooms into silica gel and resin as like kind of like a practice because with anything else uh, resin is an art and you kind of got to keep practicing until you find uh, the correct way on how to uh, work with resin and also to kind of find your style and I'm really excited to share the process of that on the vlog channel so I don't know which video is going to come up first but I'm really excited to share nonetheless so I am just using as much as I can products that I have in my for home. For instance, things like this came from the container store that I had actually in my closet. I was storing my Jordans in here, but it's like perfect to put silica gel and blooms in. So I just have one for the actual silica gel and blooms to process. And then I have another one with my blooms in, but I think as I go along with preserving the bouquet and seeing all of my epiphyllum blooms dried, I want to try to store them differently than just kind of just plopping it in here. But hopefully these won't stay in here too long because I want to put them in resin. As far as for the resin, there's so many different brands and it, like this whole uh, resin life is uh is expensive so you definitely want to uh think before you start purchasing products if you're going to get into this hopefully uh, my video and first time experience uh, you can either learn from it from my mistakes if i make a mistake or maybe feel inspired to do the same thing with any of your uh, plant blooms that come through your collection i am not going to go out of my way to buy plants for their blooms but my special epiphyllum hybrid that blooms once a year my hoya blooms maybe my begonia blooms and succulent blooms that i can go ahead and preserve in silica gel and resin i think that'd be a very fun way to uh, keep them and, and be able to enjoy them after its life cycle. So this is the resin that I got. They're half gallon each. I got these from a local company here in California and I will go ahead and link as much as I can in my Amazon store. Link will be in my description box of the products that I use. These are one to one so I still have to figure out with my molds which I'll show you in a second. I'll show you now. I got three sets of these. I'm going to be using one for baking and then I'm going to be using these two for resin art. And I still have to figure out how much do I pour of the resin to not waste product because resin is expensive and uh, be able to fill these molds. Now for me, I think what I'm going to do is pour half of the resin in and let the bloom sit. Ideally, you want to have them face down so that when you take it out of the mold, everything is faced up. But I am kind of nervous because my epiphyllum blooms are very uh, fragile and like leggy. So it's not like a daisy where uh, it just stays open. Uh, you'll see in a second what I mean when I take it out. So I'm kind of nervous to flip it upside down. And then once it's in resin, I hopefully I can move the petals around to open it up. I guess it just takes patience and technique. I'm very nervous and excited to work with these blooms and work with silica gel and resin for the first time. And if you have any tips and if you've done this before, let me know in the comments down below. This is just a very fun way for me to experiment and to share on the channel. I got these mixing cups so that they're reusable. I mean, you can get the plastic cups and the wooden uh, sticks to mix and pour but i i want to try to save the earth and you know i can keep using these again and again 
and it came with like these little finger gloves which i will maybe use or maybe not and it came with two sets of tweezers so i'll link everything in my amazon shop now i also got and i'm storing it in like this easter container i probably will like maybe use my other craft uh, supply storage containers uh, once i see what kind of products i have coming in so here is my heat gun so basically you're gonna do this process of taking the bubbles out once you pour the resin fairly inexpensive this was under 20 dollars and then i also got me a bunch of different color uh, of alcohol inks you don't have to use alcohol inks but if you want color in your resin then you're gonna want to get alcohol inks and i got a bunch of these applicators that you can go ahead and shake up your inks if you want to mix it with white so i just have them all in here and then just for a little fun and sparkle i am a dancer i like sparkly things um, i got these like shaved ice ab flakes that i want to try to kind of sprinkle in i i do want to maybe in my future projects maybe have like silver foil or like gold uh, flaky foils in them just for some dimension um, but i'm really excited to try my first hand on this and i'm just gonna be using my mask anytime i'm working with silica gel and resin so i don't breathe it in and i have my just baking tray on my dining table because i can't find my uh, silicone mat and I don't want to ruin my vintage dining table and it's fine because this baking rack is too big to fit in my little uh, toaster oven anyway you guys are excited just as much as me to be able to share my first time experience on the channel and again I will do a whole separate video like this on the vlog channel with my practice blooms from my mother's day bouquet I think I'm going to maybe try just doing three today because it does have to sit for five six hours to cure uh, and then i'll go ahead and do the second uh, part of pouring in to finish it up and it's already 2 30 so like by the time it's cured it's gonna be nighttime um, and i don't know if i'm gonna do that process tonight i might just do it tomorrow morning really early but without further ado let's get started and i hope you guys are super excited to see the journey of my epiphyllum blooms and also my first time experience working with all of these things i spent a lot of money on these products and i am looking forward to hopefully bettering my craft with my blooms coming through my collection over the years and it's just a fun way to preserve them and i'm gonna stop talking now so let's get started i'm gonna put my mask on i'm gonna do one to one ratio of my resin mixture i'm gonna mix it for like three minutes and then i'm going to do my first layer of pores in my mold that took a while to open up because for whatever reason it was open don't know how long it was open but that made it really really hard to open up the bottle so let me go ahead and just remove this on the side and you don't want to touch this on your fingers because it's going to kind of give you that ooey gooey feeling on your skin so now that i have that open let me put my mask on and then we're gonna mix 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 i think what i'm gonna do is oh my gosh i'm nervous so so nervous okay here we go 50 and 50. Yay! Ooh, at the 30 mark. That looks like about 50. Okay. Not there. Cover this. Let's do 50 on this, the curing agent. Slow and steady. All right. So far, so good. So now I'm going to mix these up. Okay. Let me 
that in there. Ooh, okay. So I think what I'm gonna do is maybe try out these finger gloves and see how I like them. <laughs> if they do anything. Don't know until I try. Can't knock it till I try it, right? Give it a whirl. They kind of look funny looking. If not, then I'll just get my regular gloves since I have a lot. Okay. So, they're in here. Let's go ahead and just stir away. And let's see. Let's watch the time. We'll mix this up for three minutes. Ooh, this is so exciting. This is my little workstation here. And I'm just stirring away. Stir, stir, stir. And luckily I have my, my baking tray as my workstation. Stay here, baby. Where are you going? Let's see if 50 and 50 is a good amount to start as my base layer for this size of mold. Don't know until I try. Everything is a first time for me. So I can see the mixture slowly getting clear. Really excited to pour my first layer. Stir, stir, stir. Almost there. Been over three minutes. I even use my phone to just double check to make sure. So I have my blooms here and I will try my best to not not be that bad at my first pours here. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous and excited. Okay. So let's do a little in here. Let's see. Do a little in here. Let's see. I'll try to make it as even as I can for the first pour. Yay! So good. So, so good. Fifty is a good first layer for doing three of these molds. Okay. Trying to figure out my technique here. how much it looks like I'm gonna pour a little bit more let this sit a little let's do 30 instead of 50 I just need a little bit more Now I know. So if instead of 50 and 50, I'm going to need 30. Don't we? 
this product. Okay. It's not trying to make a mess here, Julian. Is that dirty? Okay. I just want a little bit more. Just so that when I place my bloom face down, it's not going to touch the mold. Again, this is my first time on. So let's pour a little bit more. Just to get a thicker, thicker layer. Do a little bit more here. Mm, I see a lot of bubbles, so I'm gonna have to go in with my heat gun and hopefully we don't mess it up. I feel like I'm so messy right now. Let me just pour the rest in here. Okay, that was stressful. Now let's get the heat gun. This is my first time using it, so let's see. Okay, not bad. I don't know if this is supposed to be... I just want to stir it around a little bit more. I did 50 and 50 in the first pour and it was too thin for this mold. I added another 30, 30. So that means 80, 80 is nice for the first, for the first layer. For this side mold, I have to write these notes down. Okay, they look much better after I did the stirring of the two together. So let's go back in with my gun. Alright, I don't see any more bubbles. They're all gone. Yay! That was that was fun. Okay. Oh my god, Julian, don't mess up. Going in one more time. Because I'm nervous. Okay, now that that process is done, I don't know if I should like still keep the finger gloves on. I don't know. I guess time will tell. Now, let me look in my collection of Epiphyllum blooms and try to pick one that I feel has a very good potential. And I feel like maybe we just might have to... I'm going to try to... I guess cut off the butt of the bloom. Hmm. So here's what the bloom looks like, guys. Super exciting. But in the center of this bloom, I noticed there's a lot of silica gel. So let me get my rhinestone tool and try to get the silica gel to come out because I don't want it to like react with the resin and do something weird but I also don't want to ruin the bloom so okay this is the moment I've been waiting for how to lay down the bloom face down for this particular bloom it'd be much easier if it was a daisy but as you can see this thing is so fragile so let's give it a whirl down this way whoa wow this bloom is huge oh my gosh this is so exciting let's try to use this tool here I'm trying to be quick but also trying to make sure that I open up the bloom as much as possible so as you can see, this bloom is pretty big. 
I ordered me bigger molds because I knew this was going to be a problem. But at least let me do the best I can for this size of mold. So here it is. So this is just the first layer because if I pour the mold to the top, then the bloom is going to float up and I don't want that to happen. Okay, that looks good, right? Okay, let's try another one. This is super exciting. Okay, let's see. I guess it really didn't matter of me preserving the tail end because now I know that um, I'm not going to keep that part. I might even have to cut it down more. I just don't want the bloom to fall apart. There we go. Again, I don't know. This is my first time preserving the epiphyllum. I think I'm going to do the first three with this size mold. When I get my bigger mold in, we can play again with the resin and the epiphyllum blooms. And I'll have more space to spread the bloom out and then add some alcohol ink but for now at least I can do three and they'll just fill up the whole the whole thing I'm afraid I'm gonna have to cut cut or off. I'm just hoping that I oh this is nerve wracking. Okay. So far so good. Let's do this one now. Yay! Now I know this is a very huge bloom and it'll take up this whole mold. So I think probably like a six inch cake mold would be like perfect. Lay it in there to the best I can. And then here I go with my little tool here. Spread it apart evenly. I think I'm definitely not mad. I mean, this is my first time doing resin, doing silica, and preserving my blooms for the first time so honestly I think uh, I think I shouldn't be too hard on myself and next year when my blooms come back again I'll be semi semi beginner advanced <laughs> I think that looks good again do you see how the butt of the bloom is still sticking up Shucks. Let's see. I cut super low this time. Now, here they are. So exciting. Now, what I want to do is let me grab some pictures and then let's add a few flakes in between somehow and then we'll let this. Um, cure and then come back with the top layer. Here it is. Quick point of view before I add my little shave ice AB flakes. 
Just a little. Just a little. I'm just going to add just a little of these Shave Ice AB Flakes. Just a little. A little there. A little there. It'll be give it some interest. Maybe in there. And let it spread out. I think it's gonna look cute. Pretty. By the time this cures, it's going to be late at night. So, we might be picking up the video at night. But that's fine. Come out, come out. Really nicely. Trying to get it in if I have any open space for them to kind of peek through. Perhaps. I mean, hey, I'm not mad at myself. This is my first time. I think the supplies I chose for my first time, I think, are pretty good choices and all of the supplies I bought just to start cost me about $200 so this is not a very cheap hobby I think any kind of crafts DIY things like that just to get the basics you're gonna spend a lot of money and crafts is expensive but I think I think I'm good. I kind of want to get some in here. Maybe if I can get a few specks. Let me do one more. Right in there. Okay. <sighs> okay, I think... I think I'm good guys. I just want to do some last minute. I think I'm pretty happy. Okay. Enough messing with it. Yay! Here's the top point of view. I got a little bit of my silica gel on the top of my mold here in the center, but it's okay. I think it looks pretty, pretty good. So I'm gonna let this cure for a couple of hours and hopefully maybe right before the sun goes down, I can add the second layer and we'll see if I add some alcohol ink. Um, but because the bloom takes up the whole mold, I don't think it'd be very smart to put alcohol in because then it would probably only just show up in the back of the piece which i kind of wanted to show up front so if i had a bigger mold i think alcohol ink would work so maybe i'll save the alcohol ink for my uh, bigger mold when it arrives but look the bloom literally just squashed right in and we'll pick up in a few so hours. it's been several hours now and it's almost 8 p.m the sun is going down and 
my resin has hardened and I had put a container over it so that if there's any dust hair or anything that it won't fall into the piece while it's curing. When I look at the piece here, you see how there's some browning in there? That's kind of upsetting. So now I'm thinking maybe the blooms have to stay in longer under silica gel. So what I'm going to do is, since this was my first practice round, I'm going to complete my uh, project here. I'm going to mix up more resin. And then I am going to pour the second layer in. And then from there, for my upcoming blooms, which I'm probably going to wait for my uh, bigger mold to come in, in the meantime, I'm going to place the blooms back under silica gel, the leftover ones that I didn't touch yet, to just dry them out more in hopes that when I do use my upcoming blooms for my next project, it won't brown on me. But I think it'll still look nice, I mean, considering this is my first time. And I'm also thinking if I'm just going to put a clear uh, pour on here or if I'm going to put some alcohol ink. But I definitely do want to put more of those uh, flaky iridescent um, AB flakes. So let's mix up some resin. And I'm trying to think. I have to do 80 and 80. But I think I'm going to do... I think, yeah, I can do 80 and 80. But that means I'm going to have to get my big cup and mix it up. So I think what I might do is... I'm trying to look. Now that I'm like, this is the first time I'm using these cups. Maybe I can do... I'll do 50 and 50 and then pour again just so that I don't have to wash out that big cup. So let me let me put my mask on, let me put my finger gloves back on and mix up some resin. Also, quick shout out to one of my favorite content creators for resin art. I've been watching her for a year now, Artsy Madwoman, and she's been inspiring me to do this for my blooms from last year and I never did it because I was scared. And now that I know about silica gel, and I asked her about the browning and if she thinks that maybe I didn't uh, put it in silica gel long enough. And she said that it has to be really, really stiff and light to the touch. So I'm going to put these back into silica gel until my big molds come in. And then for sure it's going to be good. But I'm going to make the best of this. And I might add in some alcohol ink maybe to hide the brown. And hopefully when I take it out of the mold tomorrow, it won't look that bad. I still want to give myself props for at least doing this. And eight, I have eight more blooms total to, to make it the best it can be. So let's pour so I can eat dinner. I'm so hungry, but I want to get this out of the way. Put the finger gloves back on. I guess they work for me. I don't have my apron on, so hopefully I don't make a mess. I'm going to mix this up for three minutes and then pour the layer on and in these three minutes I'm going to figure out if I'm going to just pour clear or add some alcohol ink but I think I might add maybe white alcohol ink for like a smoky look and try to cover the brown I don't know or maybe some green and green and white I'm not sure yet so I'll pick up the video when three minutes is up. So here we go. I'm going to start pouring without wasting product here. Poor blooms. I didn't dry it enough. I'm going to this one. pour up another batch I just don't want to have to clean that big cup okay let's pour more resin time to pour what a mess look at this oh my gosh this is so messy Trying to make it even here. Let me pour a little bit more in here. That 
looks about even. A little bit more in here. A little bit more in here. And a little bit, whatever's left to go in here. Bubbles out. I see a little bit of the bloom sticking out. I can get any more resin out of these cups to cover that section. Push it down. Okay, better. Okay, you guys. So, let me just go over one more time with my heat gun. Okay, now I'm going to take these crazy finger gloves off. Oh, my gosh. Craziness. Okay. Taking my mask off. Now... I want to, I was trying to avoid using this big cup, less to clean up. Let me wash my hands really quickly because I have some product on me and then we're going to get to adding the alcohol and the flakes. So I'm going to, I washed my hands and Abby's watching me. She's probably wondering, mom, what are you doing? Okay, I want to probably add some flakes. Add just a little, not a lot because we already have in the front that's good enough do a little 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 okay, that's pretty maybe over the browning spots and I'll go in with my spoon or my little stick to swirl it around okay that's good enough to start to start let's throw in the white here oh, do you shake it first I'm not too sure if you shake it but okay are you guys excited because I am and we'll just do like that hopefully the white with the colors that I add will help cover up the brown at least in the back part okay this let's add some forest green just experimenting so the white is going to make the colors sink that and then maybe we'll add some magenta see how that turns out hmm this is so fun we'll add it there I'm probably gonna have to order more white because white is the trending color to be able to get the colors to sink down not they'll just stay on the top that looks good already let's do one more layer of white oh 
hopefully when I take the piece out tomorrow morning that the top part is not that brown but it's okay it's my first time and I have time to put my booms back under silica let's go back with the green so we're using rainforest green and Senorita Magenta. That's interesting. This is fun. And a fun way for me to preserve my blooms. I think I'm going to, I love that, that's interesting. I'm going to go in again, just a little here. Again, this is my first time, so just rolling with the punches here. That looks pretty good. I really like how that one's turning out. Mad, not mad. Okay, and one last pink. And I'm good. nature not too crazy I think that looks cool we'll leave that there and then we'll do something like this a little bit more that way that's pretty interesting we'll see how it cures overnight and we'll drag it this way that's interesting too this is my first time so I did uh, white, magenta, and green, and I did it three times. So I went over white, pink, green, white, pink, green, white, pink, green, and got this. And I swirled it a little bit, but I'm kind of interested to see what it's going to look like after it cures. And I will look at this the first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, let me know what do you guys think. This is my first time, and I mean, hopefully when I take it out of the mold, it doesn't look too bad with the browning but i'm definitely gonna put these back into silica gel to make sure they're fully dried so that when i come back for my second project with bigger molds i will definitely not get any browning but okay, good morning it is almost eight o'clock and i have to go and drop ebby off at the groomers in my neighborhood because she can't wait for vegas with her long haircut I could not wait to pop these out um, even if the groomers is a mile down the street, so let's go ahead and uncover it Also last night at midnight the well, I didn't have electricity at 10 o'clock at night because the two bur two top burner that my grandma got me after a couple months of me using it It tripped off the electricity and I was in the dark uh, But what I did do which I thought about it I had some time to think about it and also talking to one of my favorite content creators that does resin uh the browning was probably because it wasn't dry enough so i went in and took all the tails off of the blooms because now i know i don't need it and they're now stacked in here under the silica gel and then the blooms on the top is just 
a fun project that I'm doing with my Mother's Day bouquet, which I'll share on the vlog but channel. Now, my epiphyllum blooms are all stacked under here, and they're just gonna stay in there an extra two days. So that would be a total of four days under silica. And I'll check if it needs to be a little bit more dry, then I'll just leave it another day. And I am waiting for my six inch molds to arrive. I to uh, message back the company for this alcohol ink because it was supposed to have been forest green but this is not forest green guys this is like straight up blue here it is the bloom straight up totally looks brown for my first time like now i know like what to do and what not to do so now i know to basically make sure that it is fully dry before I put it in silica. About this last one when I come back from dropping Evie off. I think I put the alcohol ink and I thought it was going to be I thought it was going to be forest green and magenta pink with the white. I thought it was going to be that. And then it's blue. So I'm kind of upset about that, but I figure add the alcohol ink so that at least it masks the brown but then now like the whole thing is brown. So now that I know how it probably will turn out, let me think about this while I drive. I might kind of go with this color theme of the bloom like maybe some orangey yellow and white tones or something. I don't know. Let me think about it but interesting learning. Back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back from dropping Evie off. She was super nervous. And this is what the first two looks like. Here's the first one. Now that I see the way how it dried and cured in there, and then here's the back part when I thought it was supposed to have been magenta and forest green, and I added a little white in there. And it wasn't forest green, it was blue. So I need to call the company and complain. And here is the second one. So, I mean, if the flower is going to turn all brown, regardless of me putting it in to silica gel, then I'm just gonna roll with it, I guess, and kind of stick on that theme of colors. I mean, I could do like a peachy, peachy color if I wanted behind it, or I could just do nothing and just put the AB flakes behind Share it. Share with you what this looks like and we can kind of talk about it. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your thoughts. Let's talk I mean, about it really quickly before I wrap up this video. My thoughts, this is my first time A, working with silica gel, B, working with resin, and C, working with these blooms. So this is all new for me. And um, if you guys do this project, maybe you can learn from mis my mistakes. One, the mold is too small for this particular size bloom. I'm still going to use it though with my Mother's Day bouquet project that I'm going to just try for fun on the vlog, which is going to be like my practice. And also, I noticed there's a lot of little bubbles in here. We'll see, there's a lot of bubbles in there. You can totally see the little bubbles there. As far as for the alcohol ink, I would have really liked it to be green, but it is what it is. So that's these two here side by side. Imagine after doing this for the first time, here they are all side by side. What do you guys think for the first time? A lot of little bubbles in there, like small ones. So right here you can see a little pink here and there from the blooms. So maybe those parts were the totally dry parts. So let's so. wrap up my thoughts on this video. And maybe if any of you guys have ever done this before, let me know. Also, every bloom varies. You put a real flower in resin. My understanding is it's 50-50. It could turn brown or it can hold the color. So it's just... Your best bet is always going to be to dry it first, it, whether it's pressed or in silica gel, I guess depending on the bloom because like my particular bloom on my epiphyllum, you can't press so it has to be done in silica gel. Um, but stay tuned because I'm going to do my second try for the epiphyllum blooms. I have eight more. I have eight more to play with 
for the epiphyllum bloom so what am i going to do my plan of action wait for my molds to come in it's currently tuesday it's going to arrive on saturday so in five days i should be well prepared with dry blooms and we're gonna pour into a six inch mold so that i can spread out the bloom look here the blooms are like kind of squished in there i mean it can work if you want it to work but um, yeah i don't know let me know your thoughts and Will I do alcohol ink? Will I not? Maybe I might put just white for the smoky effect and then some glitters or I might add like one more color in it but honestly like I thought this was gonna be hunter green and it's totally not hunter green so with that being said and here's what the sides look like so that white ink As you see, the white ink had made the alcohol ink sink down and not stay on the top. Let me regroup my thoughts. Let me get my bigger mold in. We'll come back. I'll pour it in a six inch mold. Hopefully by then, I mean, seriously, the blooms has to be super dry by then. Honestly, if not, I don't know. I don't know what to say. The only thing I can do is microwave the silica gel to dry it out and then restick the blooms all back in. I'm gonna check the blooms in two days and see what the status is if it's super super dry because I want to make sure that I give my best shot on these. I would definitely like to try to keep as much of the pink I can but if this is the way how it dries I mean it's still pretty too so anyway I'm gonna wrap up this video thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and for watching me for the first time try to preserve my blooms I'm gonna try to not be that depressed about this I mean for the first time of ever doing any of this like literally from preserving the blooms in silica to pouring resin to pouring alcohol ink to I mean everything I, I'm not mad you know um, I knew that I had to pour the mold halfway and then sticking the bloom face down so that it wouldn't float up and then giving it a couple hours to cure and then pouring in that second layer and adding the alcohol ink or whatever you want to if you want to so I already knew that and I already knew to cover the molds uh, while it's curing so nothing falls into it so I mean just those little things alone that's a lot for a first timer to to know so i'm i'm not i shouldn't be too hard about myself so i'm gonna be looking at these for the rest of the day so that i can come back stronger um let me know your thoughts on my first time uh pouring resin and like working with my epiphyllum blooms that i tried drying in silica gel i mean what do you guys think do you guys like the brown last look here before i wrap up the video let me know your thoughts guys i mean if it turns brown like this i'm just gonna work with it but let me know your thoughts anyway um as far as for like the back part i think this is probably my favorite one for the back so thanks so much for hanging out with me guys i'm learning and i mean this is the first time i've ever done this before so i can't get mad at myself um, but i lived i learned and i was able to share my experience on the channel so i'm gonna wrap up today's video sound off your thoughts down below and um, hopefully when i try this again in a couple of days with a bigger mold and hopefully drier blooms i'll be more successful and um, hopefully i can get the forest green mailed to me because this is totally not forest green and I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. If you're new, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for daily uploads between the main channel, Monday to Thursday, and the vlog channel. Friday to Sunday, you get a video each and every day. And I'll see you soon. Hello from Santa Monica, California. Bye, guys.